We're trying to, me and my mom and Chelsea are trying to keep the kids away from the door because we don't know if something like was gone. Okay, so, so, um, we walk outside, me and Chelsea, my mom's inside getting her phone out to like call 911 because like something did happen. So, I'm gonna, um, some gold powder lately i've been just using like sparkly stuff because my face has been like working a lot better lately so so me and chelsea walk outside from the door you could actually like see what happened it was a car dragged a dry dragged a biker from a from all the way from the dance studio down to a house which is like five blocks away like you could see um so i me and Chelsea are looking to see, like, is everybody okay? You could see someone, because they're right in front of a house. You could see the two people that live there. I don't know if it was two or one, but it was two people came outside, like, asked, like, is everything okay? Like, I could hear. Mind you, these, just stupid, these stupid cars are just driving all up and down the glass. And so I'm just thinking, oh, God, someone's going to slash tires. What else is worse going to happen out here? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm in freaking panic mode. Panic mode. Because I've been in a car accident. I'm in a car accident. I know things can get bad. I'm in a panic mode. I'm thinking, oh my god, oh my god, is somebody, is somebody gone? Is, some, or, or, is people okay? So, when you live in Wayne, you don't know when these people are going to get here, how long it's going to take. So, Chelsea's on the phone. My mom's on the phone. Two people called her once. Um, like saying, hey, uh, like, this such such happened. There's this car and a biker. Um, got into a car, car dragged a biker all the way down five blocks down to this house. They're like, um, how bad is the car accident? I'm like, freaking thinking in my head, we're inside of a dance studio. We can't, oh, we can't tell all what happened. All we see is flames go up in the freaking air, like sparks, and, like sparks go up in the freaking air, and, like really bad, and the car freaking get dragged the freaking biker all the way down the freaking road. Like, what else do you want me to freaking tell you? You're the fucking, you're the freaking police, and you're the cops, and you're the freaking fire people. You're supposed to get your butts down there and do it. 
and you're supposed to figure out what all freaking happened. So like, Okay, Carly, she's back up. Okay, so from that story, I'll tell you, drive a lot carefully care on the road when you're driving because I've, I've seen now that breakers are the worst ones to get hit. So me, I'm just a complete shock. It takes 15 minutes for them to get here to show the car accident. We are because we waited patiently to make sure that they came and takes them 15 minutes. Me and my dad, my mom, and my sister, we all left to go to the gas station to get a couple things. Students be left to the gas station because my dad's teacher left out the way that the car accident happened to see what all happened. We left to go to the gas station. Students were left to the gas station because we left like one minute away by car. Um, it was completely packed in. You barely could freaking get through at all. The whole world was freaking blocked whole world's blocked and it takes them that long to get there because they are chronically stupid i hate living in wayne because when something actually happens here it takes them millions of years i think in my head now my dog's barking sophia millions of years just to get there for something that actually happens why do not know so I'm gonna put this eyeshadow on. Millions of years to get there for something that actually did happen that's important. I am sorry to the biker that this happened. That car should not have its license. And I'm pretty sure there it was a drunk driver. Because over here there is multiple bars. Multiple bars. I'm not even over exaggerating. Multiple. Well, I'm trying to think, like, the YouTube that's supposed to be in that spot. I think it's, it's, like, in the wrong spot. <laughs> and I don't know what to tell you. It's a tablet. If it still works, it's okay. So, yeah. Drive safe for on the road, you guys. I am ready for dance, and... This is what I'm wearing. I got the pants on. Say dancing shoe. Little outfit. Does it actually say dancing shoe? Yeah. So. Of course I know how to do Drive camper on the road, you guys. That's a little story time on how I witnessed a car crash. And what I thought about it. Because I think it's psycho. And that they should have got there way faster to help those people. But, no, they didn't. Everyone's on the phone saying, yeah, 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 this happened, this happened, um, we seen this on the road. Uh, how, how bad is it? How freaking are we supposed to tell if we don't even, we're not even over there? What are they thinking? We're supposed to walk all over there when there's glass all over the freaking road and, um, all over the freaking road and, um, oil and gas? And sparks going up in the freaking streets? No, you're psycho. But, that's how we witnessed it. I'm also really tired. Huh. I was also really tired at the time, too. I was not wanting to do nothing. Um, I was just a complete shock. And thinking, oh, my God, I'm not going to be able to get out of here. And there's five-year-olds and seven-year-olds to splatter all around. So, I will see you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys like this. Get ready with me with a story time. And peace out. I love you guys so much. Bye.